My name is Gurusan Singh. Today I want to address Garuka and Gurmustik Singh over at SeekNet and respond to their video about slander. Now, Garuka, it's obvious that you don't know even how to spell the word slander, let alone know what it really means. So let's look at the definition of the word slander. A legal dictionary says slander, oral defamation in which someone tells one or more persons an untruth about another, which untruth will harm the reputation of the person defamed. First of all, whatever I have said or others that have criticized you on these matters concerning Yogi Bhajan, 3HO and Sikh Dharma International, has been transmitted over the internet. Therefore, it is not oral, according to the legal definition. Perhaps you might want to construe it as liable. However, the legal definition of libel, just like that of slander, says that the material in question must be untrue. If you, Garuka Singh, would be kind enough to point out what I have said that is untrue, maybe we could have a serious discussion over the issues. Maybe, Garuka, you could even sue me for libel. Yet, as I have so often pointed out, you budgetists never want to seriously discuss facts. You pop up on my Facebook or YouTube pages, post slightly ridiculous ad hominem attacks on my character, along with, in this case, a vague threat that Dadam Raj will not like what I am doing, and then you disappear. You budgetists don't even deem to offer their obviously superior wisdom and insight to clarify the situation. It's all really pathetic. If you really believed in the truthfulness and righteousness of your cause, why don't you 3HOers or any of the other budgetists who post attacks on me ever debate the facts? Perhaps it's because anyone who has been around 3HO, Sikh Dharma for any length of time is aware that the whole thing is built on a web of untruth, lies, if you will. If you, Garuka, feel that in my videos and posts I have misunderstood or misconstrued anything, why don't you take the time to clear things up? I'm sure the many posters who obviously agree with what I have said here would appreciate being set straight. Garuka, you say slander is poison. Sadly, Garuka, you, SeekNet, and 3HL Foundation are so blinded by your cultish devotion to Yogi Bhajan, you're poisoning yourselves by ignoring your, let's say, silent slander, which is most certainly Bayadbi of Gurbani. Keeping Yogi Bhajan's fingernail clippings in your nitnam, covering up the sexual abuse of yoga students and lies perpetrated by Yogi Bhajan and his longtime disciples is surely a deadly poison for you and the other Bhajanists, which you're not seeing. Need I remind you of your very words, Garuka, when you described your sacrilegious practice of preserving Yogi Bhajan's fingernails in your sacred nitnam in this interview? When you, Garuka, said, then he, Yogi Bhajan, looked at me, this is Garuka saying, and extended the wrapped napkin to me, saying, you want these? These are Yogi Bhajan's fingernails, right? I replied in the affirmative. He, Yogi Bhajan, smiled and said, they will give you a lot of power and protect you. I took the folded napkin gratefully, this is Garuka speaking again, and thanked him. I kept the nail clippings in the napkin and placed them in my net now. This is surely Bayadbi and is surely poisoning you and 3HO. Why, I can't understand for the life of me why you can't see that, that that is poisoning you. But rather, you lash out at others for slander when you are slandering yourself. Now, I want to address your comrade over at SeekNet, Gurmustik Singh, more commonly known as Mr. SeekNet. Comments on this subject of slander. 
In a recent article, Universal Sikhi Across Cultures, Religions and Continents, Gurmustik, you said, then there are some people who have so much anger or hate inside themselves that they have made it their mission to slander, spread false and misleading information, making every attempt to put down SSS Harbhajan Singh Khalsa and Sikhs from Western origin, and a supposed attempt to save others from us as if they know the right way. Well, there's a great deal of judgment here on your part, Guru Mustik. Does it not occur to you that rather than hate, there are a lot of people who feel extremely concerned about the way that Yogi Bhajan, Sikh Dharma, and 3HL are practicing a form of Sikhi that is not congruent with the SRM, that's the Sikh Rehat Mariata, and is moving further away on a daily basis? Does it ever occur to you that these individuals who criticize feel that the need to point this out? Can you not see that this attempt to set the record straight is not motivated by hate, by, but by a genuine concern for the future of Sikhi? I see this concern on Sikh discussion groups from all over the world. Many Sikhs are genuinely worried about the direction that 3HO and Sikh Dharma, this is Yogi Bhajan's Sikh Dharma, are taking as you can read on this forum. And I'll put the links to some of these forums where Sikhs are talking about this and very concerned about it. In the description, I'll put them in the description to this video. Furthermore, false and least misleading information can easily be defeated with facts. I've yet to see you, Grimustic, SeekNet or other SD members meet any of these so-called false and misleading information with facts. Your usual response is to either ignore the info, delete it from the forum, if you have the power to do so, or to indulge in what is called an ad hominem attack. This is attacking the character of the messenger, which they do quite often, and attacking my, me personally. This is what you are doing in your article when you say, there are some people who have so much anger or hate inside themselves. Gurmastik, how do you know that these people are motivated by hate? How do you know that we are not genuinely concerned? Has SeekNet never responded to the legitimate concerns by Sikhs that Yogi Bhajan was given Hindu last rites and many 3HO members participated in Rishikesh in this Hindu ceremony. And you can see pictures here that I'm putting a, a, over the screen in the, in the rear here of these different events that I'm talking about. There was a completely Hindu wedding that um, this Gramukhar hosted there in Rishikesh recently. There's all kinds of just unseek like practices that are happening there in 3HO. And we're generally concerned as Sikhs about the direction that 3HO is headed. So, Gramustic, are you thinking that um, other Sikhs, like Anjukar from the Sikh Free Press, are trying to spread hate campaign when she wrote this article about Yogi Bhajan? She's also written articles about how the Yogi Bhajan group is twisting Gurbani and trying to promote their tantric yoga by trying to have it fit into Gurbani. These are not Sikhs that are trying to spread hate. They are trying to inform you and trying to cor correct you in the correct practices of Sikhi. And I'll put the, again, I'll put the links to these articles in the description to this video. Then you Gurmustik say, detractors will try to tell me how yoga is against Sikhi without even understanding what I practice and the practical benefits of it to a householder end quote by Gurmustik. Then I say, there is nothing to understand. Tantric yoga is against Sikhi, always was and always will be. Read the SRM, Sikh Rehat Mariyata, the Rehat Namas of Bhai Daya Singh and Bhai Nam Lai, that a Khalsa should not practice any tantric yoga asanas, yantras, mantras, and tantras. Sikhs may hold differing opinions on physical yoga asanas, such as some of the yoga that you practice. Some believe it is totally against Sikhi. 
Others believe it is fine as long as it is only regarded as an exercise for fitness. But they all agree on this. Tantric yoga asanas and the tantras and mantras of Yogi Bhajan are not part of Sikhi. Dr. Trilochan Singh outlined this quite clearly in a book after spending months with Yogi Bhajan. I'm sure by now you've at least heard of his book, Sikhism and Tantric Yoga, which I encourage you to read it, if for no other reason, to try and understand how most of the Sikh world views Yogi Bhajan, 3HO and the unseek-like practices Yogi Bhajan taught you and you so stubbornly are attached to. Now here is a link to the book, which I put in, again in the description to this video. And I want to point out how Yogi Bhajan's tantric yoga seems to be producing this effect of his longtime students doing this sexual abuse of yoga students. It's exactly what Dr. Chaloshan Singh spoke about in 1977 how Yogi Bhajan's corrupt practices are spawning these sexual abusers in 3HO and Yogi Bhajan's group. This new allegations have just surfaced about this Karta Singh in Europe, how he's been sleeping with his yoga students, he sleeping with one of the ashram members' wives, and taking this tantric yoga of Yogi Bhajan's and doing these completely unseekh like activities. So this is a direct practical example of how Yogi Bhajan's tantric yoga is corrupting his students. I'll put links to this, these new allegations in the description to this video too about how this Karta Singh is abusing his, sexually abusing his yoga students. It's very disturbing and just completely unacceptable. Now about knowing the right way. As you know, Sikhi is a path of discipline. I'm speaking again to Guru Mustik and all the bhajanists for that matter. <clears throat> As you know, Sikhi is a path of discipline and there are rules. Of course, Sikhs are very independent people and over the centuries, many different interpretations of the rules set by Guru Sahib Ji sprang up. Thus, in the early part of the 20th century, a document was produced with the approval of the SGPC and the Panth called the Sikh Rehat Mariyata. It codified all the different rules and customs of Sikhi into a form that was approved by the SGPC and the Panth. Many respected Sikh saints and scholars contributed to, the, to its creation. It is readily available in Punjabi and English. It may even be posted on Sikhna. It's very simple. It's really very simple, Grumustic. Either you follow SRM or you don't. For example, the SRM specifically prohibits the veneration of any graves or monuments erected to honor the memory of a deceased person. Yet we have seen the followers of Yogi Bhajan bowing to his memorial in Española, as was done in the elaborate four-day celebration 3HO and Sikh Dharma hosted at Yogi Bhajan's ranch. And I'm putting put pictures of that again here in the background. SRM also prohibits the performance of home, the Hindu ritual lighting a ritual fire and pouring in intermittently clarified butter, food grains, etc. into it for propitiating gods for fulfillment of a purpose. There is ample evidence on the internet of Yogi Bhajan's longtime students, specifically this Gurmukhar in Rishikesh, not only participating in this ritual, but organizing and publicizing it. And the people at SikhNet justify this and they say, that it's uh, religious interfaith gatherings. It's ridiculous. This is simply not allowed by the SRM. To do these kind of things flaunts the very intent of SRM and offends the sensibilities of devout Sikhs. When this is brought to your attention by concerned individuals, your response is to say that this is an interfaith event. This is what this Ekon Kar Kar has basically said, this interfaith event. No, it is not. These are Hindu worships of their fire god. You say they spread false info. It's talking about me and the other people criticizing Yogi Bhajan. They spread false info saying, we regard Yogi Bhajan as your guru. Well, 
Apart from the fact that Yogi Bhajan was heard to refer to himself as the guru on more than one occasion, and I will emphasize, I have heard Yogi Bhajan say this too in a lecture before the Khalsa Council. Yogi Bhajan said that as far as you are concerned, I am the guru. That's what he said. And he said it many times. He was shouting. I distinctly remember it. So Yogi Bhajan puts himself out as the guru. And, and when he slips sometimes, he says it in public too. You can search his lectures and you'll find other evidence of that. Many other people have reported him saying that. So well apart from the fact that Yogi Bhajan was heard to refer to himself as the guru on more than one occasion, let us take a, as a frame of reference a report recently published from the recent Khalsa Council meetings by SS Guru Joe Karkal, so Secretary General Sikh Dharma International. This is Khalsa Council, dated November 5th, 2014. Now the Khalsa Council is supposed to be a representative body whose function is to guide the budgetist pump. I say that because there is never anyone on this council who is not a budgetist, which makes the name Khalsa Council presumptuous, to say the least. Nevertheless, let us examine the report by way of noting the number of times certain words were used. Here are the numbers on these words that were used in the Khalsa Council report. Sri Singh Sabar Yogi Bhajan, 31. Guru Ram Das Ji, 6. All other Guru Sabin Jis, including SGGS, 0. Khalsa Council, 22. Khalsa, other than Khalsa Council, 0. Punt, 1. Siddhi Singh Sab's teaching, 6. Yoga, 6. Gurbani, 0. Simran, 0. Seva, 0. So the so-called Khalsa Council report does not actually mention the Khalsa. It does not mention Guru Nanak Sahib Ji, nor any of the other Guru Sabans, save Guru Ram Das Ji. It does not mention Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji, yet it manages to mention Yogi Bhajan 31 times. Yoga and Yogi Bhajan's teachings each have six mentions, but Gurbani, Simran, Seva have none. The report closes by saying, in closing the meetings, we did the Tritaka meditation together. And members shared how the Suri Singh Sab touched our lives. The Trataka meditation is the one where they meditate by staring at Yogi Bhajan's picture. So instead of finishing the meetings with an Ardas and then the Hukam Nam of Guru Sab Ji, they finished with a meditation on, Guru, on Yogi Bhajan's picture. He may not be a Guru to you in name, but your actions show that you regard him as such. The true cause of, the Guru, of Guru Gobind Singh Ji would never, ever, ever engage in such unseek like practices. You say, when, this is speaking again to Guru Mastik, when I was a teenager and finding my way, <clears throat> I went through a phase of experimentation with drugs, alcohol, smoking, partying, etc. My family, friends, and community cast me out during this time, then I would be a different person than I am today. No one wants to cast you out, Guru Mastik. Neither you nor your fellow 3HO companions. I don't understand what your point is here. Are you suggesting that you and the other Yogi Bhajan students are experimenting with your own version of Sikhi and we should just tolerate you until you have run your course? Well, the experiment in Sikhi has run, well, the experiment in Sikhi has been going on for 40 years, 45 years, and it's time to get real. There are so many un -Sikh like practices that in which you all participate that we, we regular Sikhs We'd be derelict in our duty if we did not at least attempt to guide you to live by true Sikh values. Much as your family must have tried to show you that your adolescent ways were ultimately destructive. If you really want to pursue this metaphor of Yogi Bhajan students being like adolescents misbehaving, then I would remind you that, the, that teenagers are notoriously unreceptive to advice, no matter how well-meaning. Perhaps that is why SikhNet deletes any posts that are in any way critical of Yogi Bhajan, 3HO, and Sikh Dharma. Gurmastik Singh, we regular Sikhs simply want to change your ways to align with Sikh Rat Mariyada and drop these Yogi Bhajan inspired un Sikh like practices. Such things as Tantric Yoga, Astrology, the crazy mantras that Yogi Bhajan made up, Guru Yoga, staring at your YB photo, Hindu Pujas, wearing gemstones for power and energy, etc. The list can go on for a long time, but all these things have no place in Sikhi. We have no illusion that this will be easy, nor will it happen overnight nor perhaps anytime soon, but we are not going to go away. We have dedicated our lives to Sikhi, and it wounds us deeply to see our beautiful punt being warped and twisted. We'll be watching and we will be reminding you of how our beloved Guru Sabin told us to live our lives. How to react to this is, your, of course, your choice. Wahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh.